Invitatory for Tuesday within the octave of Easter. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Invitatory Antiphon. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come then. Let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The, the Lord, Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Office of Readings for Tuesday in the Octave of Easter God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalmody, Antiphon 1. The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Alleluia. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Alleluia. Give glory to God, all you nations, for he has restored my soul to life. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies cringe before you. Be before you all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous his deeds among men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river, dry shod. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let rebels not rise against him. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound. Of the God who gave life to our souls, 
and kept our feet from stumbling. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You led us, God, into the snare. You laid a heavy burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but then you brought us relief. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to, to God, God, all you nations, nations for, for he has restored my soul to life. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come and hear what the Lord has done for me. Alleluia. Burnt offering I bring to your house. To you I will pay my vows, the vows which my lips have uttered, which my mouth spoke in my distress. I will offer burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of burning rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell you what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise ready on my tongue. If there had been evil in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come and hear, hear what, what the Lord, Lord has done for me. Alleluia. God raised up Christ from the dead. Alleluia. So that all our faith and hope might be in God. Alleluia. The first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Peter. By obedience to the truth, you have purified yourselves for a genuine love of your brothers. Therefore, Love one another constantly from the heart. Your rebirth has come, not from a destructible, but from an indestructible seed, through the living and enduring word of God. For all mankind is grass, and the glory of man is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this word is the gospel which was preached to you. So strip away everything vicious, everything deceitful, pretenses, jealousies, and disparaging remarks of any kind. Be as eager for milk as newborn babies, pure milk of the Spirit to make you grow in unto salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, rejected by men, but approved nonetheless, and precious in God's eyes. You too are living stones, built as an edifice of spirit into a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For scripture has it, See, I am laying a cornerstone in Zion, an approved stone and precious. He who puts his faith in it shall not be shaken. The stone is of value for you who have faith. For those without faith, it is rather a stone which the builders rejected that became a cornerstone. It is likewise an obstacle and a stumbling stone. Those who stumble and fall are the disbelievers in God's word. It belongs to their destiny to do so. You, however, are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people he claims for his own to proclaim the glorious works of the one 
who called you from darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once there was no mercy for you, but now you have found mercy. Build yourself like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Alleluia. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people God has claimed as his own. Offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The second reading is from a discourse by St. Anastasius of Antioch. Christ, who has shown by his words and actions that he was truly God and Lord of the universe, said to his disciples as he was about to go up to Jerusalem, We are going up to Jerusalem now, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the Gentiles and the chief priests and scribes to be scourged and mocked and crucified. These words bore out the prediction of the prophets who had foretold the death he was to die in Jerusalem. From the beginning, Holy Scripture had foretold Christ's death, the sufferings that would precede it, and what would happen to his body afterward. Scripture also affirmed that these things were going to happen to one who was immortal and incapable of suffering because he was God. Only by reflecting upon the meaning of the Incarnation can we see how it is possible to say with perfect truth both that Christ suffered and that he was incapable of suffering, and why the Word of God in himself incapable of suffering came to suffer. In fact, man could have been saved in no other way, as Christ alone knew, and those to whom he revealed it. For he knows all the secrets of the Father, even as the Spirit penetrates the depths of all mystery. It was necessary for Christ to suffer. His passion was absolutely unavoidable. He said so himself when he called his companions dull and slow to believe because they failed to recognize that he had to suffer and so enter into his glory, leaving behind him the glory that had been his with the Father before the world was made, he had gone forth to save his people. This salvation, however, could be achieved only by the suffering of the author of our life, as Paul taught when he said that the author of life himself was made perfect through suffering. Because of us, he was deprived of his glory for a little while the glory that was his as the Father's only begotten Son. But through the cross, this glory is seen to have been restored to him in a certain way in the body that he had assumed. Explaining what water the Savior referred to when he said, He that has faith in me shall have rivers of living water flowing from within him. John says in his Gospel that he was speaking of the Holy Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The glorification he meant was his death upon the cross, for which the Lord prayed to the Father before undergoing his passion, asking his Father to give him the glory that he had in his presence before the world began. For God and through God all things exist. It was fitting that he should make perfect through suffering Jesus, the source of our salvation, who would bring so many of God's children to glory. To him be glory and dominion forever. Alleluia. It was necessary for Christ to suffer and so enter into his glory. To him be glory and dominion forever. Alleluia. 
Te Deum. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We, you are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we have put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Morning Prayer for Tuesday in the Octave of Easter God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalmody, Antiphon 1. The splendor of Christ risen from the dead has shone on the people redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. The, the splendor, splendor of Christ, Christ risen from, from the, the dead, dead has shone on the people redeemed, redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Alleluia. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. The, the splendor, splendor of Christ, Christ risen from, from the, the dead, dead, has shone on the people redeemed, redeemed by his blood. blood. Alleluia. Alleluia. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. The, the splendor of Christ, Christ risen from, from the, the dead, dead, has shone on the people redeemed by his blood. blood. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. 
the splendor of Christ, risen from the dead, has shone on the people redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Our, Our Redeemer, Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. You springs bless the Lord. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen as he promised. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. Alleluia. The Lord is, is risen, risen as he promised. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Alleluia. The, the Lord, Lord is risen, risen as he promised. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. 
we put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Alleluia, the Lord is risen as he promised. Alleluia. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter, Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers, he has fulfilled for us, their children, in raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second psalm, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. Canticle of Zechariah the Antiphon Jesus called her by name, Mary. She turned to him and said, Rabboni. Then he said to her, Do not touch me. I have not yet ascended to my Father. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Jesus called her by name, Mary. She turned to him and said, Rabboni. Then he said to her, Do not touch me. I have not yet ascended to my Father. Alleluia. Intercessions. By his own power, Christ raised up the temple of his body when it had been destroyed in death. With joy, let us ask him, Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. Christ our Savior, when you rose again, you brought to the holy women and the apostles the joyful news of a world redeemed. Make us witnesses to your risen life. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. You promised to all people that we would rise up again to newness of life. Make us heralds of your gospel. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. You showed yourself to your apostles and breathed the Holy Spirit on them. Renew in us the presence of the same Creator Spirit. Lord, share, share with us, us the fruits of, of your victory. victory. You promised to be with your disciples to the end of the world. Stay with us today and remain with us always. Lord, Lord share, share with us the fruits of your victory. victory and for the happy repose of the souls of all the faithful departed. We pray. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory, and for the intentions in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we pray. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory, and now let us pray as Christ the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia.